Good evening and thanks for being with us. We begin with the father who's on a mission. Absolutely. John Halligan is making a trip to Northeast Wisconsin, speaking at a conference held at Fox Valley Tech this week. The focus, teen bullying. Now, John's son, Ryan, took his own life when he was just 13 years old. And after Ryan's death, it was revealed in great detail that he was ridiculed, even humiliated by his peers at school and online. Now his father wants to teach parents and school members and others about the consequences of bullying. So here with us now is John Halligan, Ryan's dad, and Jason Weber, Town of Menasha Police Department, Community Liaison Officer. You're going to be at this conference. So first of all, let's talk about your son's story. Yes. I lost my son Ryan about 11 and a half years ago uh, to suicide. He was one of the early victims of cyberbullying. And uh, the main parts of what happened to him, he was uh, bullied by a certain kid who spread rumors online that he was gay. And then trying to deal with this rumor, he tried to establish a girlfriend online from school. And she ended up pretending to like him and then broke his heart. And we shortly after that lost him. Wow. I well, mean, what are the causes of this? First of all, how can somebody be so mean to do something like that? Well, that's the difference of this generation versus ours. I mean, they, they can do some awful things to each other, especially with technology now. Wow. Um, they can say things that they would never say in somebody's, to somebody's face. Now, you were saying that your son was one of these very first victims. Has it grown, I mean, in the, in the 13 years? Unfortunately, it's gotten worse. I mean, I tried to sound the alarms 11 and a half years ago because mm -hmm. uh, everyone was focused on pedophiles and predators back then. And I was trying to point out that the kids are doing some pretty awful things to each other. So now you go around. Touring yes. this country, you know, what, what is your focus? What are you hoping to kind of convey to these people? Well, uh, specifically while I'm here tomorrow evening for the parents, I want them to learn from our mistakes. So th the basic theme is if I could have a do-over, you know, what would I do differently in regards to how we approached and did not approach the bullying, uh, how, we, how I dealt with the signs uh, and the hints that he was suicidal, and uh, how we, how we approach technology use in our home and the rules that we had in place and did not have in place. Let me ask this, is it criminal for somebody to do this? It, it is, most, most certainly, you know, oftentimes it can be, you know, disorderly conduct, harassment, uh, battery. I mean, there's, it, it, it really could rise to the level of and what And what if you really put together some sort of a link between something someone said, like goading them possibly into mm -hmm. taking their own lives, and they do? Well, certainly you, you can end up linking that back see you know a lot of these bullying takes place online mm -hmm. right or takes place through you know cellular technology which is all do documented right so you can do a timeline back and trace all that stuff back and gather your your evidence and you could potentially go after that um individual for maybe contributing good absolutely yeah now john what do you want parents to to, to learn from this what do you want them to take away if there's if they have any kind of signs or warning you well, know you said that you didn't see it early enough and you didn't act on it yeah well in terms of the bullying most states now have laws in place to deal mm -hmm. with the bullying itself and so schools have there's certain expectations on the school system to respond and so i tell parents now do not hesitate go into the school talk to them immediately don't wait until this builds up to a bigger problem. You have it does, to deal with it. doesn't matter if it embarrasses these kids or exactly. anything like that. I mean, you the most important things it. are lives. And you know, this is open to the public tomorrow night, right? Free. Right, right. Uh, Fox Valley Tech is sponsoring it. Uh, it's a great topic, you know, for the community to come and take a listen and, and hopefully make a difference and we can prevent, you know, any future Tragedies. Outstanding. Okay, wonderful. Thank you nice guys so much for being up with us. After this. Yeah, absolutely. Again, that free community presentation will be taking place tomorrow evening from 6 to 7.15 p.m. at Fox Valley Tech. For even more information about that presentation and Ryan's story, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.